everyone, it's Coach Street coming to you from Rickles Gym at Sinai Akiba. Today we are going to work on some basketball skills. Uh, if you have some space, whether it be in your backyard or space indoors, we will be required to use a ball and you will be bouncing the ball. So you need some space to do that. If you don't have a basketball, you can use any round ball that bounces and you can use a smaller basketball, one that's good for you. So right now we're gonna put our ball down first so that we can do a few warm-ups, and then we will use our basketball for some ball handling, some dribbling, and then I'm gonna even get into a little bit of passing and shooting. These are all important aspects of the game of basketball, and we're gonna play a fun activity at the very end today that will incorporate a lot of those skills that you're gonna learn and get better at. So let's start with some warm-up activities and then we'll get into it. Let's go. 10 jumping jacks and then we'll do some windmills followed by a few other exercises. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 windmills. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up. All right, let's do some high knees, jogging in place. Keep it going. High knees. Good. Very good, those are high knees, all right? We're gonna do some squats. Remember squats, I'll show you from this angle. It's like you're sitting in a chair, down and up. Down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do our lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? All right, what we're gonna do now is something that involves defense and footwork, part of basketball. In defense, you're going to get in a stance, all right? And you're going to have your palms up. You bend your knees, your palms are up. Okay, that's a defensive stance. And when you play against another player, you've got to slide your feet like this. So those are the side steps we were working on before, okay? So you can start going from one point to another, side step. Defensive slides. So why don't you do 10 in a row, back and forth right now. Bend your knees, you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do three or four steps to each side, as long as you're staying low in a nice, low and wide defensive stance. Okay, that's a little bit of basketball defense. All right, now when you get your ball, I'm gonna take you through some ball handling activities. First, you wanna have your ball, and then you wanna get in an athletic position with your ball. Basketball is started in this position. Everything you do starts in what's called a triple threat. That means you can pass it, you can dribble, or you can shoot from this position, a triple threat, okay? Or a ready position. So everybody try your ready position right now with your ball. Like that, triple threat, you can pass it, you can dribble and you can shoot 
all from this position. All right, we'll get back to this in a little bit. For right now, we're gonna practice some ball handling. Get familiar and get a feel for your ball so that it's just an extension of your fingers. So right now, we're gonna just slap the ball back and forth so you get a feel for the basketball. Good, slap it. Nice, all right. Right now we're going to try to go, take the ball, go behind our back. You can go slow to start. So I'm gonna go behind my back, I'm gonna catch it on the other side, and come back and around. If you drop it, pick it up and start over. So you might wanna use a smaller ball to get warmed up so that you can actually get the ball all the way around your back. Okay, you're gonna go 10 directions one way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other way, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent. Now we're gonna bend our knees a little bit like this. And we're going to try to wrap the ball go in circles around one leg. So you're going to go around one leg at a time, 10 times. Go really slow in the beginning. If you drop it, pick it up and continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go to the other leg, right? So it's one, drop this, start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. Now we're gonna get into figure eights. So you're gonna go through the leg, around like you did before, then go around, through and around the other side of figure eight. Through, around, through and around the other leg. Through and around one leg, through and around the other leg. Nice. Let's do eight figure eights. So, you go around one leg, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And... 10. So that's difficult because you're going around both legs and doing a figure eight. All right? Hold the ball between your legs. One hand is in front and one hand is behind your leg, like this. See that? So, what you're going to try to do now, without letting the ball drop on the floor, you're going to try to switch your hands from the one that's behind to go in front and the hand that's on top of the ball will then go behind like this. See that? Yeah, let it drop that time, which is okay. See, that's a little harder, a little more challenging. So, one, two, All right, next we're gonna get into some dribbling. When you dribble, you wanna use, you don't wanna use the palm of your hand, you wanna use your finger pads. Not the fingertips, the finger pads. And you push the ball down with the finger pads. So just try to dribble the ball once. Bounce the ball once with your strong hand, pick it up. Just like that, now go two times in a row. Do you see that I am dribbling the ball close to my body? Not out in front, not behind me, but just a little bit out in front and to the right, like this. And I wanna keep it like that. If I'm dribbling with this hand, my strong hand, my right hand, I'm gonna dribble it by my right knee. And then you're gonna try to do 10 dribbles in a row with your strong hand. Now 
go to the other hand, it may be your weaker hand, and it might be a little harder to dribble with this hand. But we're still gonna do one at a time. One and pick up, two, two and pick up, three, four, and now you're just gonna do 10 in a row with your left hand if you are righty, so your weaker hand. Nice work, guys. What we're gonna try to do now is cross over from right to left. Right to left. So you're gonna go just like that. Right to left, bending your knees. For right now, if you need to look down a little, that's okay. Once you get good at it, you're not gonna need to look at the ball. You look straight up. That way you can see your teammates on the court. So let's try to do 10 of these in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, keep going with more activities and exercises like this to help your dribbling skills improve. Right? So we're gonna do, we're gonna step back, we're gonna do a little dribbling on the move. So you're gonna walk and dribble with the right hand. One, Five, and now we're gonna go back. One, two, three, four, five. And now use your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Pick it up in the triple threat, and then we're gonna go back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go right hand up five, and right hand back five, like this. Turn around. Now left hand. Other side of the way. Okay, now we're gonna step back. We're gonna do 10 dribbles jogging. Ready? Feel for the basketball and your dribbling skills. Excellent. All right, we're going to continue. All right, we're going to continue with some more dribbling. So you're going to do five dribbles with the right hand, cross it over and do five dribbles with the left hand. Okay, and you're going to try to do them really low, really low like this. to dribble really low for a reason, okay? Because if you get good at dribbling low, it makes it really hard for the defense to steal the ball, and you're also a lot more in control of your own dribbling. So dribble low whenever you dribble. You want to keep it low. Usually not higher than your waist, and usually you want to dribble even at knee level in games. Okay, if you have open space, no one's around you, nothing you can dribble a little higher. What is this? Triple threat, that's right. Dribbling. We haven't even gone into how we shoot layups. That's another part of the game. We're gonna stay focused. 
but we're going to just do dribbling today to do some zigzag dribbling. Okay, I'm going to cross the ball over from one hand to the other as I go around these dots. You can set up pillows or shoes if you're not in the gym or in your backyard. Three or four different objects that you can zigzag in between. I'm going to start over here. Is zigzag crossover dribbling and you guys keep practicing that that's going to be your most important dribble that you learn is that crossover dribble to change directions okay so you're here triple threat crossover change directions because basketball is about changing directions and moving at angles because you can't just dribble straight ahead right through the defense have to go angles, okay? So you learned a lot today about dribbling. Again, start with the ball, slapping it, okay? And try to go around your back, both directions. You can even go around your knees, around your head, okay? Then you can do figure eight, so you can go around one leg first, and the other leg. Then you can go around each leg, doing figure eights. And then you get really good. Then you can try to go dribble all the way around, doing figure eights, like that. Triple threat. Now we're going to play a game involving dribbling. Okay, it's called red light, green light, basketball dribbling. And I'll teach you how to play and then you guys can play. You can follow along as I go. All right, now get your ball. Now, as you can see, I have a smaller basketball. It might work for some of you or a regular basketball or any round ball that bounces. Okay, so here's how you play red light, green light, basketball dribbling. Now you have to have good ears and listen. If I say red light, that means you get in that triple threat ready position. That's red light, which means stop and get in ready position for triple threat. Green light is going to mean right now walking and dribbling. Walking and dribbling is green light. Harder to dribble with this ball. Okay, and yellow light is going to be just staying in one position and dribbling in place. Just dribbling in place. Either one hand the whole time, or you can cross it over right to left. Okay, so those are the three lights right now, and then I might add some more. And if you do not freeze and get into one of those three things, you will start at one point, Try to get to another point, and if you don't freeze, you have to go back to the beginning. So if I say red light and you're still dribbling, then you have to go back and start at the beginning. Okay? Then you start over. The object is to get from one point to another by following all the instructions. So I'm going to start back at that white line, and I'm going to come up to here as my starting point. You make your starting and finishing points now, too. Green light. Red light. Yellow light. Green light. Red light. Yellow light. Now, you 
made it, so you're gonna go back the other direction. I'm gonna start back there and go again. Now this time, I'm gonna add another light. The extra light is going to be purple light. Purple light is gonna mean you're going to take a shot. You're gonna get in your triple threat. You're gonna make a nice L shape with your arm. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna shoot the ball up and follow through. When you follow through, you make the gooseneck. You put your hand in the cookie jar, like this. And then you're gonna let the ball bounce once in front of you, like this. Okay, you take another shot. You're gonna release the ball off of your fingertips when you shoot so that you see that little spin, a rotation. Okay, that's just shooting. We'll get into shooting in more detail a little later. But let's continue red light, green light, dribble. Yellow light. Oh no, I have to start over. I said yellow and I went forward. I have to start over at the beginning. Green light. Green light. Red light, purple light. Yellow light. Red light. Oh no, I said red light. And I went forward and green light. I have to start over. That's the beginning. Green light. Red light. Purple light. Purple light. Red light. Oh, I said red light and I started dribbling. That was yellow. I gotta start over again. Green light. Red light. Good freezing. Yellow light. Green light. Purple light. Purple light. Green light. You did it. You made it this time. Are you all listening, following directions? And if you didn't do it correctly, did you all start over too? Good. I messed up, so I started over. That's part of the game. One more time through. This time I'm gonna add orange light. And that just means you're gonna get the ball up high in the air. And you're gonna jump up three times. That's orange light. I hope you remember what all the lights mean. Okay, I'm gonna start over at the beginning. Green light, red light, orange light, purple light, green light, red light, yellow light, purple light, Oh, I said purple light and I jumped up and down. That was orange light. Purple to shooting, right? Back to the beginning. Red light. Oh no, I started and I said red light. Green light. Red light. Orange light. One, two, three. Yellow light. Good. Purple light. Green light. Nice. Notice every time I stop, when I do a stop in a red light, I do a jump stop. And I get in that position again, because this is how you start everything in basketball, in a triple threat position. So every time I start, I start like this from that down position, and then I finish like this. All right, I'm glad you joined me for our fun game today. And next time, we're going to get into some passing and shooting. See you next time, guys. Bye.